right, guys. Welcome back to the ALGS channel. Hope you guys are all doing well and having a great day so far. A lot to uncover in today's video. Some very exciting news I want to share with you. And then also some very unfortunate, sad news I want to share with you going in the pro league as well. So if you guys want to stay up to date with all things going on in the ALGS scene, including some power rankings, some global rankings, some scrim results, and some organizational drama going on, then of course, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into what's going on into the Apex Legends esports scene. First off, wanted to mention the scrim results from last night. Don't forget, we are about one day away before Pro League starts, and I believe it's even closer for those of you that are in like the Apex South region, right? So you're getting ready to go super, super soon from now. So B versus to see in north america obviously north america has just got so much more coverage and so much more uh i guess like it's easier to watch because you know all the streamers and stuff from here but my goal i do have something planned i want to share in this video regarding all the regions as well and i am asking for some help from some of you as well if you want to be a part of something so first off we got the scrim results elevate once again dude i, I just i don't know if i can trust this team like I, I feel like i should because they're consistently doing this but like at the same time it's elevate and everybody doubts them and i just don't even know at this point but yes they are back up again in the top three and with another win this time so congratulations to e8 those guys have seen really good success since they picked up zapto and they're just continuing it honestly and i'm really proud of them as well so also the exit team second place no surprise these guys have been so consistent so good and then disguised all right former dojo are in the top three as well these guys also have been doing good as of lately since they've been playing right but they haven't really been playing that much in the off season so we'll see how they continue this success as well overall though you've got some really good performances out of this and still kind of you know no surprise meat lovers or I mean furia in the top you know furia is kind of becoming weird to me they're not really winning a lot of scrim sets but they are still doing really good so you can't really you know i guess like hammer down on them but like i'm still waiting to see that already there performance where they're winning every day you know like in a row but it just hasn't it just hasn't happened yet we'll see how it goes obviously as time goes on also want to mention plp you might not recognize this team just kind of want to give you an update this is league of legends former phase they're now called peace love and positivity with the unicorn logo and all this crazy stuff so just thought i mentioned that that is the phony frex's zynu roster also want to mention some power rankings going into this now this is the competitive apex reddit global rankings now this one is not based upon like a college football eye test like here's what the committee thinks the top teams are right now this is basically more so along the lines of points accumulated and stuff and so it is weird because you have a mix of regions in here and it's really hard to say that like this team is actually that much better than the other team but nonetheless this is a really good graph to see as well and honestly a lot of inspiration is going to be taken from this because we have something of our own that we're going to be working on pretty soon but tsm they have in first place right now obviously you know it, it, it is what it is i think that this could be a very good take tsm obviously world champion how do you not put them in the first place but they do have some signs of struggle that I do think need to be addressed. And yes, as a fellow TSM fan, I'm sorry to upset you. I could lie just to get more followers, but I feel like it's the truth and it needs to be said. In my opinion, there is no better team than Xset right now. And they are in second place for the global rankings. Dark Zero's in my top three as well. Really like this. And Alliance in the top four is commendable right you know at the end of the day i feel like i'm really poor about giving other regions the respect that they deserve and i'm trying my best to get better at it and that's why i have something else planned i want to make mention of as well alliance in the top four i do like i'm not sure about optic gaming i really do like all the players on a team but i just don't know if they are better than like league of legends gaming right now plp right i, I just don't know if they're better than the uh pollos hermanos boys right i, I just don't know I i'm not getting that vibe personally but it is what it is so here are your power world rankings according to the reddit competitive thread so interested to see if you guys agree with that furia down in the 20th place position by the way also wanted to mention my power rankings now these are the top five north america power rankings that i put together and i know i know there i've already ticked some people off with this people do not agree and it is what it is but i want to mention why i'm doing this and also my plans for the future and where i could use some help here as well so my honorable mentions i had to give it to Poyos hermanos i had to give it to disguise just because there's not enough data you know they haven't played uh, as much also you've got team furia they are good but they are not really i i can't say that they're the same team that they were with vaxlon yet and then e8 i i feel bad but i've just i'm always on the edge about them i'm trying to figure out if they're gonna stick around for the long run but my top five are as follows 
Xset is number one just because they have consistently been one of, if not the best team overall in scrims. They're just constantly winning, constantly top three. There's just really not many bad days at all for them. Dark Zero, if you asked me this two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I would have said absolutely not. This team is just so fallen off, but they have kicked things up unbelievably and they are really looking good right now dark zero won like you know fourth or like two back-to-back -back days then second place i think they won again and they oh, overall in a week they were like number one is what they were just looking really good as of late so i had to give it to them tsm has also been a team that has won one of the weeks overall so it's like not necessarily that tsm is third and wait behind x i think the top three are all interchangeable they're so like I, I would take a list with dark zero first tsm second x at third tsm first whatever I, I would take all of that because they're all looking really good in my opinion there is a clear top three right now in north america and i, I just don't feel like you can argue against that there, there's just the top three guys are really ahead of a lot of this other but you know these other guys still have a chance in my opinion to just kick up one day and really start to uh prove everybody else wrong so i do have plp former phase this is the league of legends roster right zainu phony and frexes they're another team that has been top like you know two in the weeks uh of consistency so i, I look for them to have another good week as well and i they're just always preaching consistency they're always there in the top you know they don't really have bad days and so i got them in fourth fifth place this was so hard moist esports i know what you're thinking right just doesn't make sense but they've been playing across the pond really bad ping still doing well but they the only thing is they haven't played as much and so i will understand like you know oh poyos hermanos should have been here or some other team should have been here but i think if moist had been playing more consistently they've played more than the dojo right so that's why i put them in here still but if they have been playing more consistently you would see that they also has have been another team that haven't really had really bad days and so i really like it i i personally preach by it you know but i know a lot of you guys are going to disagree now here's my plan i want to do a like top 10 of all the regions but i know i'm not very knowledgeable in all the apac north teams apac i kind of know apac south a little bit a little bit of amia and then uh you know we well we don't have any other regions unfortunately because algs is dying but if you guys are a more avid viewer of maybe maybe APAC North specifically, or maybe even APAC South, and you would like to help, I want to develop some weekly rankings here as well, and I need some help in doing so. So you can reach out to me on Discord or Twitter. Uh, maybe we could chat a little bit. I'm also thinking about uh, some other things with some of these pro player coaches. So let me know what you guys think. And of course, reach out. Also, some really sad news going on in the ALGS scene right now now unfortunately the emea scene i just said apex legends esports sadly is kind of on the downfall a little bit and on the uprise at the same time with their partnership program but vex gaming another organization over in that uh european scene is sadly shutting down according to matafe as he posted earlier that he is looking for an org or will post his lfo shortly after he received an email that vexed is shutting down this team also is still a really talented roster over in that region getting a fourth place in the aurora 10th k not long ago the management team dan and steve a lot of people credit the success to this team for sadly also have parted ways with this and it's just really unfortunate and i feel bad because it was so late notice right these guys have now one day before pro league starts now they don't even have an organization going into it now they gotta do the work of you know during the off season you should have that time to prep and our resume and we're looking for a team but now you gotta worry about practicing and getting better and actually performing and doing these pro league matches while looking for a home as well i really hate it for them and i and i know that emia scene is already a scene that's struggling so i really hope that they can figure something out but unfortunate sad news of another organization stepping away from apex legends now i get it and a lot of people have stress this a lot of teams are leaving we do have some teams coming in right disguise did sign the dojo and of course we knew that was coming but there's some other teams obviously to have stepped in the legends gaming or whatever brand new organization from the apac south region you've also got weird uh, oddly enough vexed gaming with two x's has now entered in as well and vexed with one x has left so i don't really know what that's about but interested to see what you guys have to say about all the topics down in the comment section below of course like the video subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with all things going on in the apex legends esports scene and until the next time we will see you all later gators